Martin, uh, a disappointing match today. Talk us through it. Yeah, really disappointing. I think um, there really wasn't too much in the game. I think um, losing the first goal was very, you know, a big moment in the game. Disappointed that that we lost the goal the way we did. That was, um, I think, obviously a key moment in the game. There was really not really much happening in the game throughout, which is also disappointing from the sake that we didn't really create too much. We didn't really put enough pressure on them. Didn't make them make mistakes. But um, I think. In these games, it seems to be that the first goal seems to make a big impact on us, and it has been the case that um, if we've scored the first goal and then left it for a little while without losing one, or scored the second goal, we've gone on and won those games actually quite comfortably. But it seems to be that when we lose the first goal, um, we then seem to be, you know, struggling a little bit. We've come back a few times to get draws, um, but today we just didn't really create enough chances to to make up for that goal that we lost. So, really disappointing. Feel. So so down about it. I mean, the, you know, the fans travelling all the way up here who did that. Um, I can I can totally sympathise with how how disappointed they must be as well. But um, it's just really not good enough. I think that you know over quite a long time now, we, you know, not that long for me, but it feels long. We we just can't get that momentum of of getting on a run of of, of you know getting a second win to make it two in a row and then make it give yourself a chance for three in a row. We seem to shoot ourselves in the foot a lot, uh, making mistakes that that are probably avoidable, but. It's just a team at the moment, low on confidence, making mistakes and, and not getting any rhythm, not getting any any run. So it's, it's frustrating. A couple of things you mentioned there, Martin. First of all, you said um, if we lose the first goal, you know the head's going to seem to drop a bit. Mm -hmm. Is that a, just like a, a belief, a confidence issue? Well, I think one of the things is, you know, coming into a team halfway through the season when the team has been, you know, beaten and battered a little bit and lost a lot of games and, and, and you know, had disappointing run, then... You know, you're hoping as a manager to try and turn that around and to, to change that. And we've had we've had some sign of that, but we, you know, at the same time, not enough. And I think that um, confidence is definitely a big thing. And I think that you can you can encourage people and you can put the right thoughts in their mind, try and help them. But if you if if you've been through a, a rough spell and you're losing a lot of games and you and you've had lots of games where you've maybe lost a goal and then not come back, or you've been in been on top and lost a bad goal, then those things stick in, in players' minds and um, and do make it more difficult to gain that confidence that really you need in order to do well. So, yeah, I think it's uh, just a really disappointing day. I think we're, you know, so far from where we really should be and so far from where we would like to be. And I think, you know, everyone must feel that disappointment. The other thing I picked up on, you said a couple of times there, was you felt, in your opinion today, we didn't create enough chances. Mm -hmm. what, what would you put that down to? Well, I don't think either team really created hardly any chances. It was one of those games with, you know, bobbly pitch and uh, all that kind of stuff where it is difficult to create clear chances and to, to maybe um, create the chances you would like. So when you do get one or two, you need to take them, but we just didn't really create enough today, and I think that they didn't really either. Um, it was just a, a really scrappy game and it probably... Um, could easily have been a nil-nil, which is still not good enough for, for what we're looking to do and what we're looking to achieve. But really hardly anything in the game there today and um, not much you could you could really say that, you know, oh, this was a good chance or that was a good chance. There really wasn't much in it. And, uh, yeah, that makes it disappointing as well because, la you know, last week we look at it, we played well, we didn't make mistakes. Um, we, we created a lot of chances. We scored two goals. And I think a lot of that comes from we scored an early goal, then we scored the second goal. And so we have to try and get a mentality that says if you don't score the first goal, that you st you've still got a long time to play and you can still do well. Um, and I'm sure that if, if we'd got the first goal today, the game would have been different. But it can't be that. Sometimes you are going to lose the first goal, um, but you need to react properly. And we didn't do that. How big a blow is this? Obviously, it's a, a six-point gap now. We have five games remaining, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, to, to Falkirk's playoff hopes. Yeah, I think it's a big blow. I think that not only the the gap, but the fact that we're not getting momentum, we're not getting you know back-to-back -back wins. Um, we, we just haven't haven't done that for you know a good good period of time now. So um, yeah, it's it's not only that it's a big gap; it's that we're not on bright form and and really um, playing well. And and if it's if it's a six-point gap, but you're getting clean sheets, scoring goals, and and everyone's on top of things, then it's a bit different. But that's not what's been happening. From a manager's perspective, how? How difficult is it for you to then go and like pick the guys back up from that again? Because obviously there's, there are still five games to go. Yeah. Well, I think it's it is difficult. I think that especially when you're not doing it for the first time, you know, you're doing it over and over again, and um, and that's that's part of the job. I think that you know we have to show the right response and, and show that determination and, and at the same time if you start winning games then you've still got a chance to, to close any gap but um, that has to happen quick. And just finally we appreciate you've probably not thought about it too much but uh, we're back down the road at the Falkirk Stadium next Saturday mm -hmm. um, and Tro's at home, your thoughts? 
Yeah, I think not really, as you say, thought about it too much. I think that at the moment it's just the, the disappointment of this game. We need to get that out of, the, out of the system and then, yeah, be back in front of our own fans and, and put together a performance that, that really shows that we have the heart, the determination, the hunger to, to succeed. And that has to be on show next week for sure. Here's hoping. Well, right. As always, thanks for your time. Thank okay. you. Always. Uh...